Hey guys, happy holidays. So I'm gonna be doing something a little bit special this year. I'm gonna be giving away the complete nine season Blu-ray pack of Dragon Ball Z. So if you guys wanna enter, don't forget to subscribe. Go down to the description section below and hit that link for more details on how to enter. Good luck everyone and enjoy the video. Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Super discussion video. So you guys, at least at this point, I hope everyone has seen episode 118 of Dragon Ball Super. That thing was epic. I even did a video. That, that whole episode just gave me chills and I'll link it in the description section below. I'll put it on the, you know, the, the in screen if you want to go check that out because I don't usually do reviews but man that one was great I mean every single episode of the tournament of power has been getting almost better and better and better the whole Gohan moments and everything else like that but one of the things episode 118 really did give us was two universes not one but two universes getting erased and one of the things I've talked about before is that Universe 6 is one of the universes that really did need to get erased, at least at some point. It's one of those things we all kind of knew was going to happen at some point during the Tournament of Power. You had too many emotional connections to them. It was going to always be a hard-hitting moment. And personally, in my opinion, I think they handled it really well. Uh, it was still funny at times. It was really heartfelt. There was some really nice, ambiguous moments where you didn't really know what Beerus was thinking or... You even got somewhat of an emotional moment from Vegeta. I think the only one who was really missing anything was Goku, considering his sparring match and even taking out Kale and Khalifa. I think I would have liked to see something from Goku, but he was dealing with Universe 2 at the time, so I guess I understand. But definitely, uh, it was really sad. It was really heartfelt and also incredibly funny with Vados and everyone else. But I, I wanted to put this video out here now that Universe 6 is gone. Uh, I already have an idea for another video I'd like to do that's somewhat similar to this. And we'll probably talk about it if I have a guest on. But I wanted to focus primarily on Shampa and Shampa's strategy going into the Tournament of Power. And whether or not Shampa actually had the best strategy so at this point half of the universes are actually gone now uh yeah like universe 4 3 11 and 7 are still there so 10 9 6 and 2 are completely out and from what it looks like i mean obviously universe 11's strategy was to have the pride troopers come in and literally just have Jiren waiting on the sidelines, waiting for everyone to, I guess, interest him so he'll get into the fight and fight everyone. Uh, Quatella and Universe 4's strategy really does seem to be like, uh, I guess, waiting for those bug creatures to start fighting or figure out a reason to start fighting. And we're going to actually see that sometime in the next coming episodes. I can't wait to see what those guys can do because they've been really hiding them this entire time. And it's been months, guys. It's been a whole long, lot of time. I hope it lives up to the hype, uh, considering everything else in it. We might even get Ultra Instinct again, maybe. We'll probably get some eliminations for Universe 7 sometime soon, which is desperately needed. So I'm sure they're going to deliver the same way that they've actually been delivering. But to me, both those universes, Universe 11 strategy isn't really that great. You know, Jiren is not really that much of an interesting character. I've argued that a lot on my channel before. And Universe 4, uh, it might be mysterious, but it's not really showing itself to be all that creative or anything else like that these are just these bugs they're small and no one can see them but you can certainly sense them and know that their presence is there not that interesting not that elaborate not that smart and then universe 3 obviously has something up its sleeve i know a lot of people uh geekdom 101 also talked about it's possible that the some of the remaining people they have can actually i, I guess submerge or actually connect I, I would say to themselves making a stronger being which is going to be pretty interesting i really hope they do something like that as the tournament of power goes on it would be a great way to get a lot of them eliminated at once and really build up the tension for that universe and everyone else going into the future of this tournament because we don't have that much longer uh we only have a couple more episodes i'd say like 12 episodes or something before they're probably going to start wrapping this up and it's in the final moments the final fights and we're going to start seeing everyone getting take out really soon but then we also have to think about universe uh seven and then also universe six Universe 7's match and, I guess, strategy outside of Gohan's 
always fight together never fight alone if someone fights you make sure to fight them with two if two fight you make sure to fight them with three and we've seen that somewhat i mean 18 and 17 getting uh together to help goku was something like that they weren't letting goku fight alone but for the most part everyone has fought alone this entire tournament i mean as soon as the the match started everyone flew away besides krill and shinhan master roshi piccolo and gohan basically half the team went off and did their own thing not even the androids fought together which is something that we really wanted to see we've gotten since but we never really got to the point where like oh man that's exactly what i wanted to see that's the history of trunks timeline uh fight between android 17 and 18 fighting one opponent Somewhat, but not really. And then you also have Universe 6. And that's really what I'm wanting to get into. I know it was a long build-up, but I really wanted to get into Universe 6. Because to me, I feel like Shampa and Universe 6 got shafted this entire time. Because they came in with the best strategy. It wasn't about getting everyone who was strong enough to fight everyone. It wasn't about... Uh, it wasn't about this, that, or the other. Like going to the afterlife and getting Frieza or somebody who had who had basically died. Shampa had so many backup plans for so many backup plans. It was ridiculous. And I really, although I know we've gotten a lot of like a huge run with them over the last couple months. It basically started with episode 111 with Hit going up against Jiren and just playing out from there. Some characters got shafted. Doctor Roto Ro. Ro-, Ro- Rota, I don't, I can't say his name, but the pig guy. We never got to know why he's a doctor. I hope they do explain that at some point because we know Universe Six isn't going out anytime soon. But we don't know what he did. Would have been nice to see what he did. Uh, Kaba also really got shafted. I wish we'd seen a little bit more from him. He did get to a new transformation, which was pretty awesome. And if they ever bring him back, which they probably will, uh, I would really like to see his character get a little bit more. I guess character centric episodes. Uh, anyway, we so but Shampa had Hit because Hit always was going to be his ace in the hole, but he didn't stop there, and I think that's really interesting because normally you would imagine, and even in the first tournament, he basically stopped there. He didn't want exactly to have Hit carry the team like he thought Hit would carry the team in the first tournament because he realized that that wasn't really working for him. Hit didn't really have a bona fide win against Goku. He knew that he couldn't just have Hit fight Goku or anyone else who was going to be strong enough to actually win this tournament. He needed to think even further beyond that. And then he also, he recruited Frost with Hit. Frost promised him was going to be sneaky and they kind of kind of did that if frost didn't kind of fall into frieza's little trap and end up getting erased by zeno or even eliminated as soon as he did he probably had a really winning formula too i mean he was gonna go around be sneaky and take out people like krillin just kind of in and out in and out and then you also had him figure out that you could use Botama Magetta as almost an invincible tank engine that could go around and block everyone for them to the point where uh, no one could really attack them or attack anyone else. That was a brilliant strategy, and I'm not even so sure it was Shampa's uh, call, but it was definitely the Universe 6 strategy, which I think was one of the, the better things that we had here. You also had Shampa beyond any of the other gods of destruction, without being called a cheater, gave Kale and Khalifla the Patar earrings for them to fuse. And I know a lot of people said even though they could use them, they decided against it because of certain reasons going to, we don't want to lose two people at once, which is exactly what happened to Universe 6. But that was a brilliant move, tactical uh, move that no one else thought to do. In fact, a lot of people in the community thought that fusion wasn't even going to be allowed because Vegeta said it, which was weird because it was just kind of a way for him to make it clear that uh, he didn't want Trunks and Goten fighting. Not really something they ever stated was part of the rules or not. So yeah, that was something I thought was really epic. And then at the same time, they figured out, or maybe this was just the Namekians themselves, but I imagine that Shampa had something to do with this when recruiting them and them literally fusing with a bunch of their race in order to get strong enough to fight those people who were going to be in the tournament because Namekians might be strong but they weren't going to be strong enough to compete with people that they knew they had to compete with like Vegeta and Goku or maybe even Piccolo and having seen Piccolo take out Frost maybe he was thinking that if we take all these Namekians and fuse them together they're actually going to be strong enough to fight 
these people that we fought in the last tournament. Just needless to say, Shampa had the best strategies in this entire tournament. No one even comes close, and I feel like outside of Universe 7 just being absolutely the tank universe right now, uh, anyone other than Jiren, they're just plot armored, and they're not, uh, you know, everything that Champa put out there, if it wasn't for the show uh, figuring out a way for our heroes to beat it, probably seems like it should have won. Or at least that's the way I'm interpreting this. I would really like to have seen Champa get a little bit further, considering he does seem to, he has, he has somewhat of a brilliant tactical mind. They made it very clear that even though he was freaking out and always being his character for the most part, he had come up with this stuff and he had planned to do this stuff from the very beginning of the tournament or even before, as soon as it was announced. That's epic. I think that would have been a lot more fun to kind of think about or see his uh, his planning, his, his strategy in that sense and how it might have played out and if he could have gotten a little bit further. But like I said, I think... This was exactly what we needed at the time. We need not only uh, multiple race erasings right now from different universes, but we needed one that was absolutely the most emotional that we could possibly get at this point in the, the tournament because it's going to start getting a little bit stagnant if we didn't. Perfectly uh, acceptable to have Universe 7 or Universe 6 actually erased in Universe 7 to feel the impact of that. But like I said, Shampa is kind of a tactical genius <laughs> i think uh, if 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 beerus and universe 7 had done the stuff that he did even half of it i think they would have been uh completely unstoppable at this point so guys what are your thoughts on that do you agree with me do you disagree why do you disagree if you disagree why do you agree if you agree uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe make sure to go hit that bell over by the subscriber button that's going to notify you every single time i upload you're not going to want to miss any of it uh daily dragon ball super uploads and discussion videos sometimes twice a day at the same time i'm also having a giveaway we're going to be giving away the entire nine season Dragon Ball Z Blu-ray box set, the Amazon Prime exclusive on December 11th, probably December 12th, depends. It's gonna be really late at night after my last final. I'm really excited to give that away. I'm gonna put that in the description section below as well. Please make sure to go hit that link and go enter it if you really want to, if you really want them. Uh, definitely an awesome giveaway right in time for uh, Christmas or whatever holiday that you actually celebrate. Uh, I'm really, really excited to bring that to you guys. At the same time, just, just all around happy thoughts and everything, guys. Uh, I hope everyone has a great day. It's been real.